Welcome to the Smart Talk series, the show for professionals who want strategies, tips, and real talk about all things PR, marketing, and social media. Your host is Melissa Vela Williamson, an award-winning, accredited, and nationally recognized PR pro and communication thought leader. And now your host, Melissa Vela Williamson. Hello, and welcome to season three of the Smart Talk series. This is episode one of the season where we are diving into communication specialties. During this six-part series, we're going to look 360 degrees around what is specializing in communication, how are specialties discovered, the pros and cons of specializing, and how we can future-proof our careers with the intentional use of specialties. If you're new to the Smart Talk series, I kick off each season on my own, bring in more industry experts to discuss these topics with, and then end each series with final tips and insights to consider. Check out season one or two for topics about how to communicate through turbulent times and practicing social responsibility. Our continued learning and involving is vital to our success as communicators, whether you're in PR, marketing, social media, advertising, or just want to do a better job with the relationships you have. Let's get started with this season's focus, communication specialties. In the communication field, there are two categories of professionals that I've seen, generalists and specialists. Most PR, marketing, and other communication professionals begin as generalists, and we have plenty of stories to share about how we're thrown into the pool and taught to swim by doing, or we're thrown into tasks or roles we just weren't familiar with or hadn't had experience with and we learn to sink or swim that way. Typically, when we get started, and if you're more of a generalist, we have to learn to coordinate or really manage many aspects of communication all at once. You may be managing social media or a team that runs social media for your organization or client. You have to manage public relations and what are the programs around that, as well as the tactics and the strategies that are involved in that work. Or maybe you're managing a marketing or advertising budget. Or maybe like me, you found yourself in a place where you were the sole communicator and you had to learn to do it all. As time passes in our career and we gain more experience, professionals often discover they have a niche or specialty. That niche or specialty is like a sweet spot where professionals discover what they're passionate about and what they have proven results and a depth of knowledge in, such as event planning or maybe media relations. Or maybe it's to focus on public relations for the tech industry or banking. Hopefully, that specialty is also an area we're passionate about, because that's when the magic happens and our work really shines. But how you discover what your specialty is can be a challenge, and it can be also pretty exciting when you think about it, because each professional should really decide if and when they want to identify themselves with a niche or a specialty. To use my professional history as an example, in most of my traditional employment roles before I started MBW Communications, I did a little bit of everything. I was the only communicator for many of my organizations or many of the departments I was uh, working with, which meant I handled internal and external communication or programs like public relations, community relations, benefits communication, media relations, and advertising. I even created and communicated about corporate volunteerism, health and wellness, diversity, equity, inclusion. You pretty much name it, I've covered it. And later I discovered that broad work scope I had didn't mean I was a jack of all trades. It was actually called integrated marketing communications and it's a specialty in public relations. What seemed nonlinear in my career actually became my differentiator I have a unique skill set that I developed through the course of these expansive roles throughout my career. By the time I started my own boutique agency, I felt that I could confidently say I was an integrated marketing specialist, and I embraced this vantage point as my 360-degree approach to communication. I really think about each communication challenge all the way around and can think about the different parts of the communication field and the disciplines and tools they offer when I'm met with any kind of communication challenge now. 
Even though public relations is my main framework in communication, there are many ways that through PR, I understand we are marketing and communicating value with stakeholders. We do this when we share a positive message or a story through social media channels or tell a story in collaboration with journalists or even create content for the channels we own at our organizations like websites or this podcast. And it's a multiple channel content on demand world today. That requires us to be able to share one message in many different ways. So in our multiple channel world, how do we discover or decide when we want to declare a specialty for ourselves? I know for me, it's been challenging to check a category or a specialty box for my own personal brand as a communicator, because sometimes that felt very limiting. But if I had to boil it down, I know now that my specialties are in public relations or integrated marketing communication for nonprofits, educational organizations, in diversity, equity, and inclusion, and in the Hispanic Latino cultural areas. But even if you don't want to declare discipline or specialty, perhaps your business sector requires that specialization. Depending on what sector you work in, you might find the terminology and regulations may be different and critical for you to understand and know. For instance, what you would write in a press release for a public company is very different from what you may put in a press release for a private company or a nonprofit organization. And also many PR pros in governmental affairs or public affairs have to register as lobbyists since they are seen as promoting issues or causes on behalf of their institutions. So what seems to be most beneficial when you think about specializing and generalizing in communication is that in this fluid world we have, We have generalist capabilities, but keep an integrated mindset. What the heck does that mean, Melissa? Well, what that means is you could specialize in a certain topic or category, or for like me, PR, but you should have an understanding of what the other communication areas that benefit your work do. Know enough about social media and marketing elements, for example, or advertising strategies or PR principles so that you can advise your organization or client on how or when to incorporate those parts of the field, or at least have enough friends in the industry to be able to refer and talk with an expert about it. It's a more integrated world every day we're in it. So our communication profession seems to demand that each of us know more about each area of the field every day. So what is better? Is it specializing or generalizing? I don't think we still have that answer, right? Well, it's a little bit of both, and it depends. Because I'm passionate about culture, education, and nonprofits, I've found throughout my career, I've gone deeper in these categories throughout time where I can apply any of the communication areas as more strategic approaches to their communication challenges or issues. However, I've been very careful to keep myself from being labeled or known as only good at this or that. Focusing on a specialty or niche can be lucrative. And there's a saying that the riches are in the niches, right? Be careful not to pigeonhole yourself into a space so tight that you can't easily transfer to another area or role if needed. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that we have to be flexible. And flexibility is what really wins. We have to understand our jobs or even our industries can fold close shop, or change quickly. So how do you become more nimble and flexible if you've practiced in one sector or discipline most of your career? Join nonprofit organizations or trade associations like the Public Relations Society of America, the American Marketing Association, the American Advertising Federation. There are trade associations in your community or in your city where you can volunteer, get on a committee, get on the board, and serve to expand the skill set you want to learn more about. That has really benefited me my entire career. Or help a small business colleague, and a lot of people are starting side gigs or they have side businesses or, or becoming entrepreneurs in different ways. So support someone and support their growth while you learn something new and add to your abilities portfolio. Learning how to partner with experts or being able to smoothly work yourself across departments 
And parts of the communication field is the kind of agility that will make you especially valuable to any client or organization. And that will help you future-proof your career so that you can do more of what you like and get closer to that sweet spot over time. What has worked best for you all? I would love to hear from you. I want to know what served you best in your career, what you're still learning, and how you are specializing or really enjoying your time as a generalist and working with experts across the field. And if you want to learn about any of our specialties at MVW or my specialties, go to mvw360.com. There's a blog on this topic and more information for you there. And don't forget, we have PR Pro Gear to show off what you do best or what you want to do more of in the communication world. Check out our PRGearshop.com for stickers, mugs, t-shirts, and more. We're giving all of our listeners 10% off with promo code PRPROVIP. That's PRPROVIP. And as always, think smart and communicate smart. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Smart Talk series. If you learned something or enjoyed our conversation, share on social media or send to a friend. To learn more about this and other communication topics, visit mvw360.com. That's mvw360.com.